have some type of activities going on, like for, for like the youth, for the youth of the kids. And I mean, just everybody come together. Because like, they really like, I mean, people out here just killing for no reason. I mean, what's the kill over red and blue? I mean, ain't nothing but a shirt. Despise the game. Like, I mean, I left Miami to come up here for a change to build my life and not how to deal with all the crime and everything that's going on like it is down there. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's totally atmosphere. I mean, I've never been around, I mean, gang violence down in Miami, but since I've been up here, it's too much going on. I mean, I ain't been up here for like a year, but still, I mean, it's too much going on. We keep killing each other, and then soon, that thing, you know, we're going to be extinct off this earth. You know what I'm saying, baby, we keep killing each other. If we don't come together now, we ain't gonna never, we ain't gonna never be able to um, come together. If we don't come together now, stop all this. And then we got, we said, both we said, but we said examples for people that, little kids that's coming up. But if we keep this up, they ain't gonna, and they gonna come up the same way. <laughs> so same. have we always had gangs here? Has it always been an issue with black on black crime? No. No, no. I mean, we've always had an issue with black-on-black -black crime, but typically um, it was reserved for, you know, the bars and taverns and that kind of thing. And we were always, we've always been um, typically proactive with respect to uh, not allowing crime to really permeate the block like it has now. And, you know, it really wasn't until... Um, the economic benefits of uh, drug dealing took effect in this community, that, um, that gang violence became what it is now. All right, so is there anything that you would like to say? You know, and, like I know you said you have lost family, or you family members to gang violence and things of that sort, or you know, people. Is there anything that you wish you could say to somebody that might be teetering on that level of? Do I want to finish school or do I just want to go to the streets and why is it even worth it for me to try, you know? I just say, make the best decision with your life. Like, don't be a leader. I mean, don't be a follower. Be a leader. And, you know, just lead by example. That way you can show younger people that that's not the world to go. What are you going to do with your life when you get all the way up there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I always just go to work that way and I can stay out of trouble. Right, um, because yeah. I see you got to be in here on this. So. Is that one of your aspirations? Uh, hopefully, one day I can't be. Right, right. I just try to do it. Just try to stay away from the, the negative and stay positive. I'm just telling you, man, the community. The churches have always been folks. Well, thank you, Chris. The government don't feed you. It's been a, God gave churches an obligation. He gave them a commandment to go to the poor, the hungry, and the feed and take care of them. You've got an example right next door where they're giving away food. The government don't have no food giveaways. The government don't have nothing that it does for its people. The churches are the oldest organization, and they're organized to do things. They can get stuff done by their very structure and nature. If you guys put them in, have them involved more <coughs> and give them a plan and let them help with a the plan, they'll carry it out. They'll put saints on every corner. They'll put saints I on every corner. I believe there's a certain way to get to where you want to be and to get what you want and what you need for your community. Some people don't know how to do it. There so are some people who know how to do it but don't have the support. The gang, them. people who do programs for gang members, when we hear about them getting the millions. Instead of hearing about people who get the millions, and you're kind of like, okay, well, we had five shootings in 10 hours, and I haven't seen a leader show up yet. So where are these people? Oh, was it somebody you knew? When the kid got killed, there was somebody in your congregation? Or what, what's happening now? Why, why aren't all you same guys running out right now? We had all these shootings over the last. <laughs> where are we're the leaders? And, I mean, we talk all this good game, but the reality is until you lead Christ-like, first of all, with love, mercy, grace, and long-suffering, temperance, self-control, there won't be a leader. Any yeah. leader that's, that's emotionally unfixed is not going to be able to help us, which means if they can intimidate him or if they can make him feel like he has to be a certain way, then he's not a leader for us. He's a puppet.